is Sam Gaza, and you are watching SG Angling. What is going on everyone? My name is Sam Gaza from SG Angling and a long anticipated trip that we're doing right now to Central West Virginia and if you know anything about Central West Virginia you will know that it's known for its bass and muskie. So we are here for two days. Uh, it's pretty early right now but I have my two brothers with me Josiah, uh, Gabe and uh, this guy's a great bass fisherman. Josiah, what's your biggest bass you caught? Uh, I never got an official weight, but it was somewhere north of 13 pounds. But like 27 inches. Yeah, it was 27 and a quarter inches, 22 inch girth. Yep. Okay, come into the camera view a little bit more. Tell me your, your three biggest pike last year. My three biggest pike started in May of 2018. I caught a 46 inch pike. It was right around 20, 20 pounds. I caught a 43 inch pike, uh, and then I caught a 40 and a half inch pike. Uh, all in the same year from yeah. the same lake. So. In like five months. In like five months, yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing. And so the 43 and the 40 came within a couple weeks. So. All on the, both on the Whopper Plopper? All four, all three. All three on the Whopper Plopper, amazing. So uh, we it's are okay. going to be fishing a reservoir here uh, in central West Virginia, and uh, I love musky fishing, so we're going to be doing a lot of musky fishing, but there's a lot of fallen timber in the lake, so we're going to be doing some bass slash musky fishing as well. Um, so hopefully our bass fishing brother puts up with our musky fishing. So we'll, we'll see how that works totally out. Totally gonna outfish them. Totally gonna outfish them. He says. Bass lures. So yeah, whoever loses the competition today has to uh, has to sleep on the floor in the hotel room. That's right. So what's the competition gonna be? Uh, well, we're gonna do total inches of fish. Total and inches. If you catch a musky, you're gonna add ten inches to your total since catching yes. musky is pretty special. Yes, it is special. Fish of ten thousand casts. So. Uh, anyway, I can't wait any longer, so this video shoot has already gone longer than its uh, expected uh, time frame. So uh, let's get out on the water and get some lures wet. Oh, dude. dude, you can't let him jump out of the water. I can't. Oh, dude, that's that was a fat. That fat. was awesome. That was wow. <laughs> Just do a. He never had uh, it. He like do a figure eight. I mean, he tasted hooks, so he's probably not coming back. But wow, amazing. Alright, so a little update for you. Uh, we've been out on the water now for almost two hours. Um, we've had one muskie on, jumped clear out of the water, it was hanging out about two feet of water. So uh, it was caught by my brother Gabe, or had on by my brother Gabe. Uh, so he didn't actually catch it, but uh, that's a good sign. Um, no bass. We've had a couple other squirrels and hits, but uh, nothing in the bag yet. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll have some fish in the boat. So the depth here, 20. What's the depth? Yeah. <clears throat> 14. 
could make that as well. No, that was a musky. That was a musky. Alright, we're staying anywhere there's no deep water, we have to go. Look at the size of that storm. Never touch my hook. Oh, here we go. Look, look, look. Oh, look at oh. oh yeah. He might still be here. Oh. 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 He might still be here. Oh. 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 if I can see him. He's just coming up and then he's spooking himself. He nipped. I felt him uh, just tug on it. <clears throat> yeah, no. He's he's in his he's in the low to mid 30s. Not even. Something's got to hit this glide bait, you know, sometime soon. What's the depth here? Twenty-two feet. Not too shabby. Oh, look at that cast! If that isn't a cast of a pro, I don't know what is. What is that? Is that a dead animal? It's a deer. Look. Oh yeah. I knew it was something. Oh. <laughs> That's disgusting. He probably flew off the bridge. You got hit. Oh. That's insane. It's a, dead it's a dead deer in the water. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's where all the musky are. <laughs> Free meal. Imagine you're fishing here, right? And you hear, <laughs> and the deer just goes helicoptering. Over the bridge. Have you ever and seen the video of the, of the six deer that went flying over the bridge? Dude, yeah. look at look at the guts just hanging out of them. Oh, the back end guy. That thing probably got hit. Right? You think he's still alive? Dave, you might want to go in that bank. <laughs> we could get some lightning. Look at it coming down. That's so cool. Quick update here. Uh, believe it or not, it has actually been five hours since we have seen or heard from a fish. Um, the front has come through, so we think it may be something to do with that. Uh, it's musky fishing, so is that really a surprise? But anyway, uh, we are actually back to where we started. We're back to where we raised some other fish, so we are. Uh, hoping to get one in the boat before the end of the day. Um, even the bass aren't hitting, and that never happens. So uh, we've tried uh, quite a broad array of different lures. Um, so we're gonna go back to 
to uh, some spinners and, and top water as the uh, as the wind dies down. So stay tuned, and I hope to have. All right, folks, I know I'm not showing my beautiful face right now, but I have 15 minutes left to catch a muskie. Stay with me here, see if we can get one in the boat. I'm using a double showgirl with a four inch Mr. Twister hanging on one of the treble hooks. We'll see how this works. So we have concluded day one of the Stonewall Jackson Lake event. Epic fail. How was it, guys? <laughs> Awful. Look the at worst day of fishing I have ever had in my entire life. Period. And how many years have you been fishing? Uh, well, I'm uh, 20, call it 25. 25. 26. Was it the worst day of fishing you've ever had? Pretty close, yeah. Pretty yeah, close. I think it was. Okay, I think it and was. how many years have you been fishing? I've been fishing probably, we're going 17, maybe 15 years of fishing. Okay. So for me, it wasn't the worst day of fishing ever. It was by far the worst day of fishing ever. Uh, <laughs> we did raise uh, a couple muskies, a few. I think it was like three, but uh, yeah, really bad. Hopefully, tomorrow will redeem itself. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you out in the water tomorrow. Oh, there's a muskie. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. He's still there. You have a fish? Okay, now's the time. Now's the time.